everyone! Today I wanted to talk through the pros and cons of fringes or bangs. My voice might sound a bit funny because I've been ill for a very long time. I still feel like garbage right now, but I need to film a video. So I have just put all of the makeup that I have on my face and taken loads of drugs. I get a lot of people writing to me saying they cut in a fringe for the first time because of me or that they're considering it. So I thought I would just make this video talking you through the reasons to do it and the reasons not to do it. These are all just from my personal thoughts and experiences. If you can think of any others, put them in the comments below. Obviously with these as well, I'm talking about having a block fringe. You might have a side fringe or something else. I'm talking about like, boom, fringe, you know. <laughs> Pro. It looks cute, pretty straightforward, probably the main reason why most people do it. It, it looks nice. Some people it might not suit you, but it, it generally, it looks quite cute. Con. It could be sweaty. <laughs> if it's hot out or you're just the kind of person who sweats a lot, if you've got a sweaty forehead and your fringe is sticking to your forehead, not nice. <laughs> not a nice feeling at all. Obviously you can get rid of it, pin it out of the way and stuff, but it's something to take into account because if you've got something touching your head when you're already feeling hot, maybe it'll get sticky and gross and you won't like the feeling of that. If you want to test a fringe out, you can buy like little clip-on fringes uh, before you cut it in so you can test out what it feels like. It probably won't be exactly like a real fringe would, but it could still be useful if you want to try it before you commit to it. Pro, it can make you look younger, which could be a pro or a con, I guess, but I considered it a pro because generally most people like looking younger. I get ID'd a lot. I don't think I look really young. I do wonder if a big part of it is the fringe. I have heard from a lot of people that they feel like fringes make them and other people look younger, but yeah, you might get ID'd a lot more than you used to. Con, when your hair gets greasy, it's a lot more obvious, I think, with a fringe, and I can feel it a lot more with a fringe, and I'm a lot more aware of it. If you don't have a fringe and your hair gets really greasy, you can just tie it back, put some dry shampoo in it, like, forget about it. With a fringe, unless you pin that back as well, you're gonna be able to tell that there's a greasy bit of hair sitting on your face. Like the back of my hair, I don't think you can tell so much when it needs a wash, but with my fringe, it goes all gappy and I can definitely tell when it's been a few days. Pro hides your eyebrows. <laughs> if, well, if you get it cut long enough, you can hide your eyebrows if you can't be bothered to pluck them. If I get spots on my forehead, not a problem. You're not gonna see that. My forehead, I feel like, is quite wrinkly and I don't really like the look of my forehead, so I like that my fringe covers that up. Basically, it can hide whatever shit you're trying to hide that is like from the eyebrows up. Con, hair accessories, hats, stuff like that might be a bit difficult to work with. I don't really wear hats. If I do, I tend to just get rid of my fringe because a lot of the kind of hats that I would like to wear, they put pressure on the front bit of my head and then look, it is, that's not a good look, is it? Some hair accessories and things, like if they come down onto your forehead and stuff and around here, might not work or might not look so good with a fringe. Again, all of the stuff, like, you can get rid of the fringe and pin it back if it's that much of a problem, but if you want the fringe and you like the look of the fringe, you might not be able to do certain things with your hair and with hair accessories. Though like beanie hat things that go on like the back of your head more, they still look nice, but ones, yeah, that come down here and that push down on my fringe doesn't make it look good in my opinion. Pro, it can make unstyled hair look a bit more interesting. I very rarely do stuff to my hair. I very rarely put a lot of effort in with my hair. The most I'll do is maybe sit down and curl it, maybe every now and again. If you have a fringe and you don't wanna do anything with your hair, it can still look a little bit done, if you know what I mean. It just feels like there's a, something extra, there's a bit of an extra spice and a zazz to your hair. A fringe could like zazz it up a bit and make it look a bit more like you've got something going on, even if you haven't done anything. Con is probably gonna need a lot of maintenance, a lot of regular trims. If you're anything like me and you hate gaps in your fringe, then you'll constantly be checking it and like, does my fringe look okay? Is there a gap? Is it uneven? I always look in Alex's sunglasses when we go out and it's sunny and he looks at me, I'm like, take the opportunity to check my fringe out and see if it's straight. I hate having gaps in my fringe, I hate it. My fringe could really do with a trim every few weeks, but I tend to like hold out as long as possible and let it get as long as I can before it's getting too annoying. If it starts getting too long, then I curl it a little bit with a really thin wand and that will make it look quite nice and pin-uppy and also just make it a bit 
shorter without me having to try and trim it at home and ruining it like I always do when I try and do it at home. If you're gonna get a fringe, invest in some nice hairdressing scissors because even when I've gone to the hairdressers, they've done it, it looks great. I'm like, yeah, that's fab, brilliant, thank you. When I come home, there will be bits at some point, I will find bits that still need trimming. Um, just like little bits hanging down. Whenever I get it trimmed, I normally get it cut a little bit shorter than I would ideally like it because I know it's gonna grow back really fast. Pro, fringe trims are free. <laughs> I've never been somewhere where I had to pay for a fringe trim. I don't know if that is the same everywhere, but at least here I can just pop into a hairdresser's and say, have you got time to do a fringe trim? And if they've got time, they will trim my fringe and then I will leave and it's as simple as that. Con, if you change your mind, it could be a pain in the ass to get rid of. I've tried growing out my fringe quite a few times. Clearly failed. Fringes tend to grow quite fast, so that's not too difficult, but it can be difficult to make your hair look nice while you're growing it out, to know what to do with it. What I did was I would pin it back for the first few weeks, then I'd start pinning it sideways because I wanted a side fringe. Yeah, every time I would just get too frustrated with it when I wanted my hair to look nice. I'm not that skilled with hairstyles, so it was always just bunged to the side or bunged up on top with a load of clips in it. And I got really fed up of my hair not looking nice and how I wanted it to, so I would just cut it back in. I'm doomed to have a fringe for eternity, I think. Some people might find it easier than me. I don't know, I just found it really frustrating. Pro, if you like dyeing your hair a lot and kind of doing funky looks and things, I think it gives you more options of like fun things to do. At one point I had turquoise hair and a lilac fringe. Having that little block of hair there can just be fun to play around with and you know you can dye it different colours, you could dye it half and half different colours, even if you want natural coloured hair you know you could dye half of it blonde or all of your fringe blonde. It's a fun thing to play around with if you enjoy dyeing your hair. Con hairstyles. I find it difficult doing hairstyles at the best of times. Some of them I watch tutorials for and stuff and the people don't have a fringe and I have a fringe and I'm like how do I do this with a fringe? With certain hairstyles I feel like a fringe can make it more difficult and I don't really know what to do with it and if I've done something with the rest of my hair I'm like what do I do with my fringe? A pretty safe bet if you want to do something to your fringe could be to just lightly curl it. That's about as adventurous as I've ever got when it comes to styling my fringe though to be honest because I'm just nervous and I've tried some things before that went terribly and I look like some kind of rooster or something. Fortunately, if anything goes too wrong with your fringe and styling it, all you need is like a comb and some water and just brush it through and that'll probably sort it out. So if you do decide to get a fringe, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> no, I love my fringe, I really love it. Even though I have tried to grow it out and failed several times, I do love my fringe and now I have no intention of trying to grow it out in the near future again. I kind of realised as well how much I dislike my forehead, which made me like my fringe even more. Also, save on foundation. Don't bother putting it on your forehead if no one can see it. I'm gonna go uh, <coughs> take some more drugs and cry to myself. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye!